good morning children i hope you all have enjoyed your vacation and now you all are ready for the new academic year with lots of energy let us start with the first topic of maths that is geometrical constructions in previous classes we have learnt about the line so here we can name the line as line x y line x y line segment with the two end points so we can name this line segment as o p line segment o p this is angle and you can see the measurement of this angle is 60 degree that is angle p q r is 60 degree and we can write this as measure of angle p q r is 60 degree angle bisector now what is this angle bisector an angle bisector divides an angle into two equal parts so let us draw an angle bisector for that you know we need compass and pencil see that your pencil is shorter shorter than your compass see that the point the tip of the pencil and compass should come in line check that properly and tighten the screw see that your pencil is sharpened take proper distance place the tip of the compass on point b and draw an arc on line segment ba same way we have to draw an arc cutting the side bc name these arcs arc s and arc t now taking the same distance we have to draw another arc from point t and s see that when you draw the arcs the arcs intersect each other passing through the intersecting point of the arcs draw a line and name the intersecting point point o so b o is the angle bisector of angle a b c if angle a b c is 60 degree angle bisector divides this angle 
exactly into two equal parts that is 30 degree each. Let us now start with perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Children, if you all will draw with me, it will be easier for you. Let us try. Draw a line segment PS measuring 8 cm. Take the measurement properly. So this is line segment P S. Now take your compass and take distance more than half of the line, line segment and draw the arc placing the tip of compass on point P draw an arc above the line segment and below the line segment now place the tip of the compass on point S and draw another arc above the line segment and below the line segment. So here you can see the arcs intersecting at certain points. Let us now join these points. So here we are drawing line passing through these intersecting points. You have to draw line little bigger than the intersecting points. And name the points point C and point D. So here you all can see that line C, D is the perpendicular bisector of a line segment PS. We have taken PS 8 cm and here you can see that line CD is dividing the line exactly into two equal halves that is 4 cm each. Name the center point point M. Now how will you verify that line CD is the perpendicular bisector? By measuring angle CMS. Angle C M S. How much it should be children? Yes. You are right. It should be 90 degree. Take your protractor and check angle C M S. Place your protractor and check angle C M S is exactly 90 degree. And here also all the other angles you can see measuring 90 degrees. So measure of angle CMS is 90 degree. Now is length of 
पी एम इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ एस एम इज इट येस बिकॉज वी हैव ड्रॉन लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ एट सेंटीमीटर एंड वी नो दैट परपेंडिकुलर बायसेक्टर दैट इज लाइन सी डी डिवाइडिंग द लाइन सेगमेंट इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट दैट इज फोर सेंटीमीटर ईच दैट इज पी एम इज फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड एस एम इज ऑल्सो फोर सेंटीमीटर सो वॉट विल बी द आंसर येस सो ह we have seen that angle cms is 90 degree i hope you all have understood today's topics clearly the homework will be posted on the group you all are requested to do the homework regularly so that the next topic will be more easier for you thank you